Of course, inflation is a big issue impacting San Diego, and it is our top story here at 530. Glad you're with us on this Friday. I'm Eric Connard. And I'm Nettie Rompour. And today, Governor Gavin Newsom expected to release an updated state budget proposal. And this does include a plan to address rising gas prices, so money may be coming your way. Here's CBS 8's Ariana Cohen working for you to explain what might be changing. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning. Yes, a big part of his budget plan is the gas rebate. You could see here at Arco some of the gas prices are over $6. Now included in this plan is $18 billion to help Californians with rising costs due to inflation. Registered car owners will get $400 to help with rising gas prices. Now economists say that this comes at a time when inflation is at its highest we've seen since the early 80s come up with this uh, inflation relief package, which is uh, going to try to get more money then into the hands then of, of Californians. So there's a number of ways he's proposed to do that. Uh, one was announced earlier, and that was to give $400 uh, per car, per registered car then in California, up to two, up to two cars. Uh, so that's the bulk. That's a big bulk uh, of his uh, proposal. But there's other uh, proposals out there in terms of rent relief uh, to help people then in terms of making payments, uh, in terms of uh, making uh, payments in terms of um, uh, past due electric bills. Everyone's faced with a lot of payments, like he said, and almost 12 billion is dedicated to his gas tax rebate. Again, the governor's plan is still to give out $400 per registered vehicle owner. We're also learning today it will not go out until at least September. But some of the spending is new, like almost 3 billion to help with rental assistance and more to help with past due utility bills. There's also a billion dollars dedicated to giving money to hospital and nursing home staff who have been on the front lines during the pandemic and $157 million to waive the cost of child care for low-income families. Now, the governor has already announced a spending package to help protect and expand abortion rights in the state, and we also expect a lot of money to be dedicated to solving the housing and homeless crisis. Now, some people are supporting this plan while some are against it. GOP State Assemblyman Kevin Kiley says this is the best way to give people targeted relief, while Senate President Pro Tem Tony Atkins shared her disapproval, saying Californians should get more than just a one-size-fits-all that benefits millionaires. Now, the legislature has until June 15th to get this budget out. Reporting live from Kearney Mesa, I'm Ariana Cohen for CBS 8.